What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 84 of our MLB, the show 23, Baltimore Orioles franchise mode here on the channel of Baltimore. After sweeping the Boston Red Sox in the ALDS, they find themselves here in game one of the ALCS at Camden Yards. This game, well, there's a former fan favorite Oriole in attendance playing for, well, the other team. Earlier in this series, we had Manny Machado return to Baltimore in the World Series with the San Diego Padres. Well, now, we're going to have Cedric Mullins return here uh, with the Texas Rangers. Mullins was traded in season number one on uh, a package that did send also Felix Bautista to the Texas Rangers for Luis Angel Acuna, Anthony Gutierrez, who later turned in to Jason Dominguez. Uh, they also acquired, you know, Jack Leiter and Kumar Rocker to just name a couple of the prospects that came to Baltimore in that trade. So it was a fairly big trade there in Baltimore. Uh, it landed, you know, Baltimore a lot of key pieces moving forward. And, you know, Texas, they were in the postseason hunt right there. They added now, you see Mullins in center, Kim at second, Kirsten in right, Seager at short, Reynolds in left. Ruiz catching low is at first, and we'll figure out the other two as we get closer to there. Uh, but Grayson Rodriguez, a one game, a one win, seven innings pitch, three hits allowed, a .57 whip, a one walk, and a 12 punch outs for the best pitcher in postseason history. Mullins leads things off with a punch out there. The former Oriole goes down swinging. Hey Song Kim, the second baseman, also swings and misses. That's 101 up and in. Can't do much with that one right there, honestly. Now Heston Kirstead, former Oriole himself, traded during his previous all-season. Hits that one deep to left, and Drew Jones cannot get to it. That's going to hit off the wall, and that's going to be a two-out double off of his former teammate. All right, Kirsten is on second base, and we're going to have, well, we're going to have up the four-hole hitter, Corey Seager. Seager, swing and a miss, big punch out on the slider. That's going to be a three-punch out inning here for Grayson Rodriguez. One left in scoring position. Matt Manning on the bump here for the Texas Rangers. One start, a 4.50 ERA, six innings pitch, five hits, a 150 whip, four walks, and six punch outs uh, for the young right-hander. I guess he's not really young anymore. Uh, but here we go, Gunnar Henderson. He's going to lead things off with a pop-up here. That's going to be foul grounds, and the third baseman's got it. Uh, for count number one. Jackson Holiday up here. He comes. Holiday drives that one dead center field. Mullins will set underneath of that and make the catch for out number two. Two away here following the Mullins catch. And out comes Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson will slap that to right. Kerstead. He's going to make the catch. That was right at him. The bad defensive right field. I didn't have to really do much defense there as he makes the catch. And that's going to be the out there. Brian Reynolds, the left fielder, he's up and he strikes it out swinging for out number one. Big punch out right there. Fourth of the game here for Grayson. Keep Ruiz, the catcher. 2 2 count, flares that to left. That's going to go down for a base knock. So a one out single here for the catcher, Keep Ruiz. Former, uh, former Dodger and uh, was that national player. Nathaniel Lowe, the first baseman. Rounds that one, or lines that one at Jackson Holiday. He makes the catch right there. It's going to be out number two. Runner on first now, two away. Here comes Josh Jung, the third baseman. He sends that to right field. Dominguez comes in. Dominguez settles and makes the catch, and that's going to end the second inning. So there you go, one left on base. Now we're going to go down to the t bottom of the second. Four, five, and six to up here. Jordan leads things off with the ground ball. That gets past the diving Hayesong Kim. And now Alvarez standing on first base with a leadoff single. Leadoff single going by the way of Jordan Alvarez. Here we go. There you go. He likes to see that. The fans are hype. Up comes Adley. Adley Chopper. That one's the Seeger who flips to Kim who goes to low. That's a double play right there. 6-4-3 on the putout. Luis Angel Acuna up and Acuna drives that to center field. That's going to be a two-out single there for the former Rangers prospect and current Baltimore second baseman. So with a two-out single here. Up will be the seven-hole hitter. That's going to be Jason Dominguez. Dominguez, 3-1 count. Puts that one on the ground. Right to Kim, who flips to low in time. And that's going to reside the second inning. 
on now the top half of the third here as uh, Sexton comes up and Sexton uh, the right fielder oh, he's gonna he's gonna get the walk right there back-to-back -back games with the walk issued by Grayson next up Mullins Mullins to for uh, the second to holiday back to Torkelson in time that's gonna be a 4-6-3 double play now Hey Song Kim with two outs one two counts swing and a miss 101 down and in can't touch that not a not a pitch anyone wants to deal with right now Elijah Green leads off the third with a one two count chopper to Kim Kim Double clutch that goes to first in time for out number one. One away now here in this third inning. As we're going to have up Drew Jones, the left fielder. The 1-1 one, one count will be a drive to center field. That one will be caught, though, by the speedy Mullins. That's going to be out number two. Two away now for Gunnar Henderson, who is 0 for 1 on the day. And Gunnar drives that one center field deep, but caught, though, uh, by the former Baltimore Oriole, and that's going to be a 1 2 3 third here. Top of the fourth, Kerstead leads things off with a big strikeout. That's going to go right to first with it, and that's going to be out number one. One out now here in this inning, as we're going to go with up now the four hole hitter. That's going to be Corey Seeger, the power hitting left handed shortstop. Big punch out right there, 100 up and in, locks up Seeger, seven punch outs so far on the day. So we get eight here of Brian Reynolds, 2-2 two, two counts, swing and a miss, and that's going to be eight punch-outs on the day through four innings for Grayson Rodriguez. Now Jackson Holiday, 0 for 1 on the day, puts that on the ground. A right to Seeger, Seeger to first in time, that's going to be out number one. So there you go, the 6-3 put out on that play there. So up will now be the three-hole hitter, Spencer Torkelson, Torkelson. With no one on, drives that to center. That gets past the glove of Haysong Kim. That's going to be a one-out single. Runner on first base now for the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez, who's going to be due up next. There you go, Torkelson. He's pointing to Jordan. He knows it's Jordan time. That one dribbled to low to Seeger. Back to low, a 3-6-3 three, three double play, and that's going to end the inning here. On now to the top of the fifth here. Ruiz up and Ruiz goes down. That's nine strikeouts on the day here for our starter, Grayson Rodriguez. Nathaniel Lowe, 0 for 1. Yeah, make it 0 for 2 with the punch out. There you go. That's 10 strikeouts. Can we get 11? And we do. Rodriguez strikes out the side in order. And now we're on to the bottom half of the inning here. Rutschman do up here. Rutschman will chop that one right back to Manning. An unfortunate play right there. Luis Angel Acuna, 1-2 count, and Acuna sends that one to right center field. That one's back. That one's deep. That one is cut. Unfortunate play right there. Mullins does bring that one in. You hate to see that. Now here we go. Jason Dominguez, who sends that one deep to left center. That's actually just more left, actually. Not even left center. And that one's caught as well. Brian Rounds makes the put out. Hate to see that there. But now on to the top of the sixth inning as Sexton, Mullins, and Kim are due up for the Texas Rangers. Uh, Stuart Sexton batting sub-100. Doesn't get much better as he strikes out again. That's the 12th punch out of the game here. A dozen strikeouts for Rodriguez. Mullins will chop that one into left. Drew Jones gets to it quickly. That's going to be a one-out single. So runner standing on first base now there. Mullins, the former Baltimore Oriole, gets a bit of applause there. Kim flies that to left. Drew Jones giving chase, and Drew Jones settling. Makes the catch, and there you go. That's going to be two outs now here with the runner on first base. Can the Orioles get out of this one and go on to the bottom half with this game still tied up? Kirsted up. Kirsted grounds that one through the hole. That's going to be a two-out single there. Runner in scoring position now for the Texas Rangers. And the Speedy Mullins can score on a base knock to the outfield. Seager up and Seager dribbles that one. Off the glove of Henderson, of Gunnar Henderson. Throw from left will be in time. Gunnar Henderson, the air there and gunned out by Drew Jones at home. Elijah Green up now in green. Sends that to left and that's cut by Brian Reynolds. So a great defensive play though. Gets, you know, saves the run, gets us out of last inning. Now, can the offense do something here? They're, they're coming in hyped. Kim, you know, robbing, robbing base knocks right there. You know, laying out for hits right there. Just takes things away from Drew Jones. But now can Gunner, he, he had the miss. Bottom half, the top of the half of the inning. 
Can he get this inning started? Seeger throw will not be in time. Infield hit there for Gunnar Henderson. Can Jackson Holiday get something started now? Holiday with two outs. Sends that one right, right to Corey. Right to Corey right there. You hate to see that. That's going to end the inning. Brian Reynolds up now on Reynolds. Chopper. That's to Grayson. Grayson over to first in time. That's going to be out number one. Keybird up and Keybird. Goes down looking right there. That's a Baker's dozen strike for Grayson Rodriguez. Can we get the 14th here against the Thane Low? 1 2 count. And. And. There you go. He went big punch out there. 14 on the day for Grayson. And we're on to the bottom half of the inning. And this game's still tied up. Spencer leads things off. Drive to left center field. That one will get down off the left field wall. And Torkelson. Has himself a leadoff double. So runner on second base. Now scoring position. And the powerful Jordan Alvarez is due up. Now Jordan puts that on the ground. Torkelson is off on running. Rounding third. He's heading home. Throw for Mullins. It is to the shortstop Corey Seager. Torkelson scores from second with ease. On the Jordan Alvarez RBI single. Baltimore takes a 1-0 lead. And out comes the Rangers manager. And Manning's day is done. You hate to see that right there. Manning gives up one run. You know, he had a very good game so far. He went six strong innings in this one. A lot of couple hits. Struck out a couple. You know, a lot of couple. And he had one run. One run, a couple hits. That's not bad at all. Taylor Hearn out here now. Three games. He's got a loss. 2.2 innings pitched. A 3.38 ERA so far in this postseason. Lefties batting a crisp 500 against them. So uh, who do we have up next? We're going to have Adley, who's going to be batting a righty, actually. Says that left field. That one's caught by Reynolds. Alvarez retreats back to first. So one down now here in the seventh inning. Runner still on first base. We're going to have up the six hole hitter, Luis Angel Acuna. And Acuna puts that on the ground. Corey to Kim to Lowe. 6 4 3 double play, and that's going to end the inning. Zach Wheeler out of the pen now. Both teams have pulled their starters. Uh, Grayson went seven scoreless, striking out 14. Now comes the veteran Zach Wheeler, 15-3 during the regular season. 175 innings pitch. He did split time between being a starter and a reliever. 2-2 Two -two count here for Josh Jung, and Jung sends that one into left center. That one's deep. That one's off the wall. Without the renovation, that's a game-tying home run. And Jung has himself a leadoff double. So the leadoff double there for Josh Young. And now he he's hyped up this Rangers offense. They are on the field and they are pumped. Sexton up now and Sexton. There you go. Chases the curveball low. Wheeler. Look at that. Unfazed. Mullins up. Ground ball to Holiday. Holiday charging. Holiday throwing the run in time. High throw. Pulled down by Torkelson. And there's now two outs here in this eighth inning. So can that leadoff all be stranded at second? Kim up, and Kim goes down looking. That is a shutdown inning following that leadoff double there by Zach Wheeler. And the Rangers have had their balloon popped. Ryan Pepiot, the former Padre, no, former Pepiot, Pepiot, Pepiot's the Dodger prospect, right? Was a Dodger prospect. 31 years of age, he's a righty. That's it. Jason Dominguez leads things off. Ground ball, that's going to dribble up the middle, and that's going to be a leadoff single here into center field. So a big leadoff hit here. So runner on first base. Now we're going to have up the eight-hole hitter, Drew Jones. So Drew Jones now here. Or Elijah Green, I'm sorry. Elijah Green up now, and Green sends that to right field. That's going to be a base knock. So runners on first and second, both very fast. Both will score from first and second, possibly on a single here into the outfield. Drew Jones up now, and Drew Jones puts down the ground that one. Fielded by Kim. Over to Seeger. Back to low, and that's in time. Runner on third now with two away on the 4 6 3 to play. Now Gunner up now with two outs. Sends that to left. That gets down. There you go. RBI two out single for the Baltimore Orioles. And Pepiot, there you go. He allows the one earned run there. Now Jackson Holiday, 2-1 count, and Holiday sends that to center. That's going to get down. That's going to roll. That's in the gap there. It's going to bounce off the wall. The left fielder Reynolds has it. Look at that. Gunner has scored with ease. Holiday in the third sliding. And is now a 3-0 lead here in the bottom of the eighth inning. 
We might need to sit down our closer after this. Send out Zach Wheeler again. Owen White, 27 games in the regular season. 3-2 and two with a 2.96 ERA. He does have a save in two chances. Struck out 56 and walked 25 for the young White. Torkelson up and Torkelson sends that deep to left. That one's back. Giving chases Reynolds who makes the catch along the foul line. And that's going to end the eighth inning. So welcome to the jungle now. Out comes Craig Kimbrell. 65 games, 2-6 and six in the regular season. 42 for 51 in the saves. 59 innings pitch, a 4.98 ERA, a 166 whip, 72 strikeouts, and 34 walks for the veteran. Now here we go, 1-2 count, big strikeout on the former Oriole, Heston Kerstead, and Kimbrell pumping 97 at his elevated age. Corey Seager chops that one, infield, Gunner charging, Gunner throwing on the run, and that one going to beat out the speedy Corey Seager. Two outs now here in the ninth inning. Brian rounds up and Reynolds. Ground ball past the diving Torkelson into right field. Dominguez plays it well, and that's going to be a two-out single. So runner on the first base, now two outs. Up comes Ruiz, who sends that to right. That one's back and deep. Dominguez settling, Dominguez catching, and game one has gone to the Baltimore Orioles. A 3 nothing shutout here as Rodriguez pitches a gem through seven. Gets the quality start, allows one walk, Gets a couple of hits allowed, but did strike out 14 in those seven innings. Kimbrell gets his first save of the 2029 postseason. And there you go. Baltimore does take a 1 to nothing lead here in the ALCS. So there you go, look at that. Five hits allowed by Grayson. The one walk, no earned runs. I mean, Manning only allowed the one run, so Manning had himself a fairly good game. It's a shame to give Matt Manning the loss, honestly, in this one, as he was dominant. You know, until the bullpen came out, the Rangers were out hitting Baltimore in this one. So Manning limited base runners, kept people off base, and only just had two lucky hits fall back to back before some runs actually scored. But a win's a win here in Baltimore. It's all that matters. Again, Grayson Rodriguez gets the win. He, of course, is the player of the game for how dominant he was. Matt Manning went out for the seventh, and that was too much as he was pulled after not getting a single out. Texting YouTube though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy. Catch next episode here on 